Hello, first grade class. Before we get started with our lesson, let's make sure we put on our little thinking hats. Now today I have a special hat and you'll learn why I have this hat in a little bit. So we're gonna be talking about my socks first. Look how awesome my socks are. We see a giraffe. What is this animal? Do you guys, what do you guys think this is? It's a leopard. What do you guys think this is? It could be a cat. It could be a dog. Now this one, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys this one because it's one of my favorite animals. It's a sloth. It's hanging from the line because they usually hang from trees. Now today guys, we are gonna go to the zoo. Yeah. Now obviously we can't actually go to the zoo. So I have some videos of some animals for you guys to look at today. Now, before we watch those videos, let's ask ourselves, what are the five senses? I'm gonna give you guys some time to think about it. Okay, now somebody give me a sense. Yes, you're right. We do have hearing. Somebody give me another one. Yes, we do have our hands we can touch. Smell. Eyes. And last one, last one. Ooh, yes. Taste. Now, if we went to a zoo, what senses would we be able to use? Would we be able to taste? No. Would we be able to hear? Yeah, we could hear those. We could hear the animals. Could we smell them? We could. Could we see? And there are some petting zoos, so we could actually touch as well. So now while we're at the zoo, we're going to be making observations and writing what we, and writing using one of, using one of our one's senses, what we observe in our science journal. I want you guys to write as many as you can. I want you guys to at least get eight di different observations. Okay. Now guys, as we're watching the videos at our zoo, I'm gonna be giving you guys some time to write it down in your journals. And I'll give you guys some time after as well. So don't feel rushed like you have to write it. I want you guys to write it so you can read it next time. And so that I can read it as well. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And we're gonna watch the very first one. It's gonna be monkeys. All right. And there we go. So we'll share. There it goes. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and play this video. All right, guys, now I'm going to check in with you. Now, I want you guys to write these senses about what you see with the monkey, but also what you notice around them, what their environment. Do you guys think that the environment that the monkeys live in is also important to talk about the monkeys? Yes, I would have to agree because it's what they live in, it's what they do, it's what they see every day. All right, we're going to watch a little bit more of this and then we're going to, and then we're going to move on. Yeah. No, it wasn't the time. Huh? Or 
guys some time to remember what you just saw and write it down in your science journal. All right, does everyone need more time? Someone give me one, just give me one observation they saw. Yes, it looks like the monkeys are playing. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next one, and that is going to be sea otters. I'll take both attention to what the water's doing. Did everybody, write, did everybody write some observations in their journal about the sea otter? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more time. Give you guys about 40 seconds. All right, guys, just a few more seconds. We're going to give you guys about 10 more seconds. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the next video. Now, this one is a really cute one. I really like this. This is a grizzly. Excuse me. This is a grizzly bear. We're going to watch the whole entire thing. Oh, you I also did that one again. Hey, Mr. Bear, you want bread? Oh, that. See if the other one will catch it. Yeah. Yeah. They're so cute. It's on the way. Hi. Oh, that's so <laughs> cool. Here you go. Good job. Hi. Do you wave too? No. Hi. Oh, you're cute. You want a piece of bread? Want this? Yeah. Okay, we're good. I don't know. <laughs> hi. Hey, hi. Want this? You're not very catchy. Okay. I don't think I can. No, I don't think I can. Whoops. Okay, we're not going to do that. Sorry about that, guys. No matter what we look like, no matter where we come from, or who we love. Okay, we're going to go back to that in a second. Okay, guys, we're going to give you guys a few more seconds to go ahead and write down all your observations. I'm going to give you guys about 30 more seconds, okay? All right, about 10 more seconds. All 
Alrighty, guys, good job. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna write down all the different observation we have. And I'm gonna write down on the whiteboard. So obviously we don't have a whiteboard here. So I'm gonna write down on a piece of paper and I'm going to ask some of them. So let's talk about the, um, the monkeys. What did we notice about the monkeys themselves? Did we hear anything from the monkeys? No, I didn't hear a lot of things either. Did, what is something that you guys did hear though? You're right, I did hear the waterfall. Good job. I did hear the waterfall. Write that down. In what sense did we use again? You're right, we used our hearing. Did anybody see the waterfall? We also saw the waterfall. Now let's go back to the monkeys. What else did we, what did we see about the monkeys? You're right, they were playing. Good job. The one jumped really high, didn't he? Yeah, he jumped from all the way bottom of the rock back to the top of the rock. He was saying hi to his friends, I think. Something else, something else we saw. You're right, they did hug each other and they sat on each other. Good job, good job. Just writing it all down. Now guys, what do we notice about the environment of the monkeys? What do we see? I saw a bunch of trees. Let's go back and see that again. Look at all the trees. We're gonna go ahead and mute this. I wanna show you guys all the trees. Look at all the trees and all the rocks. What else do we notice? Yes, I do see grass. So a lot of stuff in this environment. I even see water. Good job, guys. Great job with the monkeys. Now we're gonna move on to the sea otters. What do we notice about the sea otters? First off, how many sea otters were there? How many do we see? You're right, I see two sea otters. What's another thing that we observed about the sea otters? Yeah, he was hitting something on the rocks, wasn't he? Can anybody guess what they were hitting on the rocks? Yeah, it was some sort of food because he ate it, because he ate it after, right? It kind of looked like a shell. So actually what the sea otter was doing was that he was opening up his food. That's actually called a mussel. Good job, guys. Okay, what else do we notice about their environment as well? It's a lot of water. You're right, there's a lot of water about the sea otters. And there are rocks. What do you guys think is growing on the rocks? You're right, some type of plant. Those are actually called algae. Isn't that cool? Algae is just another type of plant, guys. All right, anything else that anyone else observed? Were the sea otters playing? No, the sea otters weren't playing. They were just by themselves. They were just hanging out. Let's go back to the grizzly bear. Let's play this whole video again. What were the grizzly bears doing, guys? They're getting fed, they're eating. What does it look like they're eating? They're eating bread, good job. Everyone write that down. Now the bears did something really cool halfway through the video. Can anybody tell me what they did? You're right, they waved. Good job. They waved.
Did you guys see anything else about the bear's environment? Okay, do we see any other animals? You're right, let's go back and let's watch that again. Look at the bird. I'm gonna stop scaring one more time. You're right, I did see the bird. Did you guys hear anything really interesting? No, I just heard a lot of the people talking as well. So, we were only able to use two of our senses this time, which I know is hard because we wanna talk about all five. But, how do you guys think the sea otter felt? How would he feel? Would he feel dry? No, because he was in the water. He looked wet too, didn't he? Yeah, it looked like he was wet. What about the bear? You're right, I do think he'll be very fluffy. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Okay, what do you guys think we would be able to smell in the environment? Let's go back to the monkeys. What would we be able to smell about the monkeys? You're right, I would be able to smell probably poop. It probably would stink in there, wouldn't it? Mm. It probably would smell really, really earthy. You're right, it would smell like nature. Good job, good job. Okay, I'm writing this down. So, what was the very first thing you noticed about the monkey? Let's go back to the monkey video. Let's go back to the very first thing. Someone tell me, what's the very first thing that they see? Not this frame, whoops, do, 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 do. Right here. What is the very first thing we see about this monkey? It looks like it's taking a nap. Yeah, it looks like it's just taking a nap, chilling in the sun, you know, getting its tan on. What about the sea otters, guys? What is the very first thing we notice about the sea otters? He's doing, yeah, we notice him hitting it on the rock. The other one just looks like it's chilling, doesn't it? Next, the grizzly bears. The grizzly bears, let's see what they're doing. They look like they're eating something. It's kind of hard to see over the big letters, I know. So now, let's talk about why these are important. Why is it important to use all five senses, or as many senses as we can when we're making an observation? You're right. Because would we be able to know what they were really doing, if that they were waving at people, if we were not able to hear what the people were saying to them. Look, all I noticed, see, it looks like kind of like he's just picking up his thing, picking up his paw. You can't really tell that it's really waving unless you really noticed. And right here, you'd be only be able to know, it'd be the very first time you'd be able to know that there's, a, there's somebody else talking to the bear. You'll be able to tell it's, a, tell it's in a habitat, What's a habitat, guys? You're right. It's where an animal lives or anything lives. Now you see here that it's in a habitat because you can see the because you can see the fence. But that's all you. But you wouldn't be able to know fully what's happening unless you used all your senses or as many senses as you can. Now, why do scientists use senses? Why do scientists? Why do you, is it important for scientists to use their senses? You're right, they have to observe, just like we observed. We became scientists today, guys. They have to use their sight, they have to use their touch, they have to use their smell, they have to hear, and they have to taste even things sometimes. Now, we're gonna talk about some of, the, some of the observations we did, and we're gonna see if we can come up with explanations for some of them. So, we saw, the, we saw the monkey jump, right? We saw, saw the monkey jump. Now, why do you think the monkey was jumping? We touched on this a little bit. You're right, because it was trying to get to its friend. Why do you think the monkey hugged the other monkey too? It, wanted, it just wanted to hug. You're right, it just wanted to hug, 
R wanted, and why do you think it sat down on the monkey, on the other monkey? It was just trying to be silly, I think. Yeah, I think it was just trying to play. I agree. What about the sea otter? What do you think the sea otter was trying to do? It was trying to eat. It was hungry. When I'm hungry, I have to prepare my food too. And it prepares it by opening it up, opening up the muscle and eating the muscle. Why do you think the sea otter is near land and on water? It probably gets on both. You're right. It probably needs both. Now today, guys, I want you to do just that with your observations. I want you to pick three of your observations and come up with why those animals do those things or why you notice that in the environment. Why do you think there was grass? Why do you think there was algae? Why do you think the bears, why do you think there were um, birds? Even. I want you guys to go ahead and do that. And then we will talk, and then I want you guys to go ahead and turn in your science journals after. Good, thank you guys so much.